Okay, well... I think it's time. Time we actually take on the Skin Bandits. I have healed. And I've put some backpacks, mostly on the A-Team, into my inventory. So we are going to be slightly more capable. I think the first thing I should do, to be honest, is take a peeky peek at what I'm facing. Go into the sonorous dark. Dude, that area past it looks a little bit, uh, a little bit scary. Oh, that's not even the Ashlands. The Ashlands are over this way. Oh, these guys are heading this way? Little bastards. I really should just fucking take their asses out. Get fucking killed. Punk ass motherfucker. Okay, so is this the place? Or is this just a skin bandit place? There's skin houses. I mean... This building looks so special. It's hard to imagine it's not the place. Well, let's see what's inside these places. I'm basically just trying to get eyes on... What's-his-face. Oh, man. That's what a peeler looks like. It's not a good look. I'm trying to get eyes on the special guy. Guess I should probably click and look. Don't think there. Uh, he's in there. Alright, can I just walk in this place? Whoa, it's in a it's a whole ass building. Uh well it looks like it's pretty much empty. That's pretty cool. Alright. Well Guess I'll check door number two. Fuck, I think this might Unironically, just be some random outpost of theirs. They might have more than one. So here's another skin bandit, and here's another group of them um, just being chilling. I mean, might as well try out door number three. Since we're here, anyways. So glad my outfit just has like bonus stealth and just at 100% stealth. Alright, and last but not least. Another place. Oh man. Fighting here has got to be like risky as fuck. Because, you know, anyone who goes down can just like be instantly peeled. But whatever. Gonna bring the rest of the team over. I'm confident Cat can just hide in plain sight here. Oh my god, that friggin' skin bandit force. It's hilarious. Poor guys. I think I'm fine just uh, leaving them to rot. Uh, oh no, Packmaster is stuck. Also, what the hell is fucking Beep saying? Jinsei. Have you ever heard of that adventurer group? The famous one, the Ashland Drifters? Beep is also a skeleton like you. Guess that's like a line to the skin bandits. Interesting. Apparently the only people to come back out of the Ashlands alive. Seriously. Not... Who's saying this? Oh no. Seriously. Not the time for this conversation. We're just getting to the Ashlands. Well, we can't ignore the Leviathan in the room now, can we? If the acid rain doesn't melt our skin off, it'll be the dragons that finish us off. I don't even know whose idea it was to come here. I guess I'm the idiot for coming along. What's a dragon? Oh, they're basically Leviathans with wings. Ah, oh, my skin! But they shoot flames out of their eyes. I need to send Packmaster and fucking the Aaron squad. I've left him in the fucking base. I can't get out. They shoot giant flames out of their eyes and have giant fangs for crushing the bones of adventurers. Heave. Nah, you're thinking of winged be beak ogres. Or dragons? 
Yeah, they're the turret beams that the headless ancients boil adventurers with. You disgust my human senses? Who said that? Bone skin abominations? Oh, he's talking about the fucking... Wait, who's he talking about? Is he talking about a shack or a fucking... Bug man? Well, if I send a human in there... Let's see. They're made of drays. What the fuck is a dray? Can we stop talking about dying in the Ashlands, please? Wait, are these guys literally going to just ignore me? And I guess this is a public place. Well, fuck it. I'm going to just chill in uh, here then. They're going to let me just ignore the acid rain. I kind of assume they're going to attack me. Wait, uh, one of them can talk to me. What's this guy got to say? A skeleton, I see. If you want to join us, the doctor can cure you of your skinless ways. You'll need to speak to Savant. Savant is the greatest master of science in all the land. He has shown us the way, the truth of the evil skeleton, and how we can undergo the skinning transformation in human's porous form. Uh, what makes the skeletons evil? They have no skin, not like us, but Savant he will teach you all you need to know. Savant is a genius. He has thoroughly studied the history of the land and anatomy of the skeleton body. Join us. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm in. I'm down with skinless. Yes, we skin ones need to get, stick together. Shit, go find Savant. Watch your back against the skinless. He's not going to show me where Savant is. What about, uh, can I talk to them as a human? No. What about Bugganoid? Well, whatever. I mean, everyone's pretty much healed up. Fuck, do I want to just roam around? I feel like I'd be safer, ironically, in here. Maybe I can send a skeleton to look around. Or cat. Cat has, like, most protection against, uh, omens. Let's see. Yeah, 80% protection. That's good enough. I'm gonna send cat. To zoom around. Number nobody better get fucking peeled while I'm not paying attention. Excuse me? Is there just no one? Where's where's their base? I feel kind of exposed being so far away from the team. Hope a fucking sniper bot doesn't yoke my ass. Okay, the B team. It's now fighting people. Can't help but notice. Uh, I'm not seeing any fucking dudes. God, are you joking? The skin bandits are now hostile to me. Like, what the fuck, bro? Why do they attack me? Well, on the positive side, uh, I'll be able to see what's in here. Alright, well, Mr. Torb, pick the safe. They have some half decent mercenary clubs, actually. I kind of assume their stuff is just all trashed here. So we've got Grog and a Skeleton Eye. I mean, that's not bad if I needed money, which I do not. God, please tell me these motherfuckers are in the Ashlands. Just kind of hoping to avoid getting in there. Um, I guess I'll have Cat go this way. Just deeper, like, to the right of the skin house. So this is what the Ashlands looks like, huh? Oh, great. It's got the thing with the fucking spiders. Sniper bot. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. And take paw shots at me and then fucking turn your back to me. Motherfucker. Thanks for the ammo. 
You're now a sword bot. I guess that means I'm going to have to be dealing with these fucking sniper bots. Dude, there's some crazy shit in this biome. Discovered creepy outpost. This has got to be the skin being in place, surely. I'm just going to get close enough, take a little peeky peek, and then... Barrier tower? What the hell? I'm going to get close enough to take a peek, and then once I've determined that it is the skin band at HQ, I will retreat. And yeah, that's the line of someone who would fucking totally die. But I can look from far. I have the binoculars out. Okay, this is definitely the skin band at HQ. Guess we'll visit the barrier tower once we're done. This is that an ATAT? -AT? Excuse me. That is pretty insane. We're off to see the wizard. I imagine the fight against this outpost is going to be even easier because it's going to be more outdoors. Oh, there's so many skin bandits here. What the fuck? I mean, unsurprising, I guess. Well, <laughs> the scrum has already started. There is no room for heartless freaks in these lands. Bro, they're calling me a fucking freak? Fuck these people. That's so degen. Get out of here. Friggin' bastards. Wait, do, do they mean like literally heartless freaks as in like robots? Or they calling me heartless because I have been destroying them without mercy. It really could be either or. Oh, is it because Sad Neil's like in charge of the B team? So that's what's going on? Are you joking? Are these fucking pieces of shit all taking pot shots at me? Wait, what the hell? They all have. Old world bows? That do a shit ton of damage and, uh. Orange samurai armor? Oh, what's this samurai armor look like? Let's see, ancient samurai armor. An extremely old set of samurai armor that's rusting away to nothing. Seems like it would probably be useless. Short cleaver? What? That's a thing? Is that better than a... Than a long sword? Should have been making these things. Well, uh, where's Cat? Cat needs to fucking yoink these guys as ammo. So that shit is very important. So that's just free ammo, right? This looks kind of decent as a weapon. I mean, it's got a lot of weight, unlike the long sword, and a huge ratio of blunt damage. Yeah, I don't know. These guys are dead, right? No, there's no way they're actually dead, but... Whatever. They've been de ammo -fied. Their main, like, threat to me is just their, uh... Their ranged weapons. Unblockable attacks. Okay, how's HP looking? Kinda dubious, especially on the Bugganoids. I see Slink has found a way to introduce more combat to the situation. We haven't even gotten in, we're already fighting skin bandits. Whatever. I'll kill them all. I care not. It's just more training for me. Because these guys are like the perfect training partners. They've got really shitty damage. Well, almost perfect. Shitty damage, shitty weapons. No armor, a lot of HP. Legion bots are a little bit more scary. It's almost cheating. Skeletons wearing armor. Oh my god. 
perhaps even more of them. This metal freak looks grotesque to my human eyeballs. It's kind of rude of them. Esper's looking pretty worse for wear. Fuck, I might need to just retreat. I mean, my A-team is looking very healthy right now. Everyone else looking is looking less so. How many dudes are over here again? Five buildings worth. And then some more. Mm. Yeah. And there's acid rain as well. Okay, obviously, do an acid rain check. We'll come back to destroy these guys in a bit, in a day or so. And some healed up. Hopefully I encounter less patrols. Challenger of the undefeated moving towards home? Excuse me? Berserkers? Are you joking? You motherfuckers. Well, home squad's just gonna have to deal. How long do they got? The challengers of the undefeated are coming from... Probably add mag. It's gonna take them forever. Who's home? Let's see, I've got... Some people who need to be changed into better armor. Everyone's got pretty fucking dog shit stats here. Except for Mr. Krabs and the dog. And, uh, we and Ray. Well, Ray's got kind of dog shit stats, but his, his offense, his defense is good. I'm sure this late game attack won't be too terrible. I mean, I could maybe leave it in stasis until I get back just by not showing up at home. I could also just use crossbows, I guess, realistically speaking. Like turrets, I mean. Like if I were to put turret up on this building or two. Yeah, these motherfuckers gotta be super weak against turrets. So it'd be defense, mounted crossbow. I put shit on the top of this building. Obviously here and here would be good enough and also I guess up here, I don't know if uh, this angle is too fucked though. And maybe uh, a turret over here. Oh, look, they're gonna have trouble just getting across the river. So <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Not overly concerned. And there's so many dots there. Fuck. It's gonna be like four squads of berserkers. Right, this is the part of the map that my squads usually get stuck. Please tell me. Please get stuck as well. Oh my god, they found it. They found the one path. Those fucking pieces of shit. How dare they? I always suffer on this path. Well, well there's literally no way my dudes could have even gotten back in time. Wow, it's, you can see it just like right in the entrance of the sun is done. Uh, dark, I mean, pretty much. Who's fighting over there? Looks like the skin bandits are fighting the robots. Maybe also the legion scouts. They taking pot shots at me. I think they are a little fucks. All right, fine. I'll take them out real quick. How dare you shoot at me? Take a hundred nineteen damage. The fucking arm. Packmaster is so strong. This like hill must just be like where ten million travel nodes are or something. Well, no time to fuck around. We've got shit to kill. A team, boom. B team, boom. Can they walk up this hill? 
Kind of looks like it. Cats getting attacked by a skeleton. Spider. No longer. I spit mouth fluid for the skinless. Alright, well I'm going to have a uh, B team get in there. I know I probably should be A team up front, but I think all that matters is splitting them up a little bit so that there's less uh, AoE damage on my dudes. Get them wing wing. Cure them. Pretty sure you're holding the Mato. No, just an edge walk or two. That's not bad. What's his dex at, anyways? Let's see, 48 minus 9 because of injuries to the chest. Not too shabby. It's like Packmaster does about a bajillion damage. Every time he attacks. May or may not be worth it to start ripping out CPU cores as well. Okay, no one's unconscious, right? Yeah. The only one who's not fighting is Packmaster, who... Will be fighting soon. Challenger of the Undefeated have arrived at home. Oof. Now these bats are really convenient. Can get S for healing up as well. Though I need to be careful. Don't know if he can get like fucking peeled. I mean he is a bug man. It's not a human. Alright, let's see. Who's in this one? Is it just also a normal one? Looks like it is. I wonder why they've got little fires inside their bases. Oh, is that why their CPU cores are overheated? I mean, I assumed it was like, uh... Cat, what the fuck are you doing? I assumed it was like a lobotomy or something that the one dude was giving. The leader of the skin bandits. I uh, guess I'll I'll pop this one as well. So we've cleared another one out. Packmaster down. Uh, I think the robot squad can probably help out. This Esper also should. Wing Wing's down. Um, I think Mr. Torb will pick him up. And I can get fucking healed. That'd be super not great. Anyone else? No. Okay, cat. You want more enemies? Just open up this last skin house. What's this thing called? Skin house HQ. Okay. Okay, well, there's the dude. Looks like he's just fucking attacking instantaneously. He's got uh, 70s in his stats. It's not too terrible. His name is Savant. Oh, he's going back to raining? You fucking lazy piece of shit. Oh my god, Beep has went in. Now well, it looks like a cat's coming in as well. Dude, this guy's actually got decent harpoon resist. Alright, come on, bull. Oh, Esper's down. 8 minus 74. This dude's doing 80 damage. Packmaster just needs to get like a tap in. Come on, Packmaster. You can do it. Oh, there we go. Alright, you, sir. Let's see. <laughs> Skeleton human transformation Bible. Peeler machine and human skin suit. Yes. And he's got the Nodachi. 2.64. Mato. Let's actually go. And he's got masterwork leather pants. That's kind of, uh... I don't really care that much. He doesn't really have all that good of stats or anything like that. I think I know what I want to do, though. I mean, first things first. What's in this little safe? Oh, he's got a normal bed. That's amazing. 
Uh, beep. Come here. So obviously, he's going in the peeler. Put him in, beep. Wait, am I not allowed to? Oh, what? I can't put him in his own peeler? No, there we go. Fuck, fuck! No, please! No! Ah! Looks like the peeler is not all that effective. Is he, like, too tough to be peeled? <laughs> his legs are healing. Oh, it's chewing his armor up. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. Look, he's got his uh, t-shirt on now. So I guess it's just gonna all, like, hold on until the armor is destroyed. Oh, well, I guess I'll get all of the teams in here. So I can listen to his sweet fucking music. <laughs> oh my god, he looks so silly. He has been responsible for so many peelings. I can't even, like, feel bad for him. It'd be me in this fucking machine. Not for him. Or uh, if he had his way, I should say. Alright, what's in this thing? So he's got a human skin suit, some ancient science books, a Mark II foreign saber, and some skeleton repair kits. Eh. Guess I'm gonna put Wing Wing in the bed. So he needs to sleepy, sleepy time. So anything else of note? Yeah, excuse me? You're not allowed to fucking kidnap my one guy? Wait, he was trying to pick up Esper? Alright, how fast are you getting peeled now? Oh, he's actually getting peeled pretty quick now. Oh my god, it's, it's, there's blood? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look super gruesome. <laughs> Looks like, a. Uh, there's these things in Gmod called, like, particle emitters. It just looks like that, like he's got a part, uh, particle emitter in his fucking stomach. Alright. Once the limbs start popping, how, cl how quick is he gonna bleed out? Oh, he's got an $80,000 bounty in the United Cities. They know of him there? Alright, let's see. No, he's still got his limbs. Oh, human skin. Got caught stealing, are you joking? There we go. And human skin suit, which is apparently a different thing. And Mr. Torb can pick this chest. Ooh, two more ancient science books. Do I hate that this guy is catching me stealing? It's so rude of him. Alright, so his head and chest are getting popped now. Oh, you really don't have much time. Uh, what if I was to first aid this guy? Wait, I can talk to him? Bastards, a lot of you. Wait, can I not first aid him? I guess I can't. No, here we go. Okay, so theoretically I could. The stomach would still get fucked, though. Interesting. Could I put, like, shirt armor on to limit the damage to the torso? Doesn't look like he's losing all that much blood. But, oh, yeah, that's because I first stated him. Okay. That's not too bad. I think I'll be able to safely do this procedure on my own duders. Alright. Get fucking destroyed. Should be dead soon. Oh, it stopped hurting his stomach. What? Was it a glitch that was hitting his stomach? Dude, how is he still even conscious? Oh! 
Oh, okay. I think it literally will not kill the person until it destroys the head. Oh, what? It turns him into a skinless corpse? Dude, that's so badass. I've never seen that before. Does he have anything special in his inventory? No. <laughs> Dude, that's so fucked up. Damn. Oh my god, he's got so many skin suits. Well, that was the skin bandits. It's pretty cool. Glad I went out of my way to fight this faction.